Hi everybody, so I'm quite happy to admit that I have a problem. Actually, I'm happy to admit that I have lots of problems, but in this one in particular, is that I don't know when to leave things well alone. Now, I don't blame me particularly, to be honest. It's you I blame because you make such great suggestions. Now, we made this Vortex stove in video 1736, and a few people said, hey, what about putting a mantle on it? And I thought, yeah, that's a really good idea. And the mantle idea, remember, comes from video 1702, which was the uh, methanol heater that we made. By the way, some folks have done some great replications of that. Thanks for sending it through. But it did occur to me to make a mantle, and we're going to make a mantle out of this stuff. This is stainless steel wire with a one millimeter wire opening and it's sold on Amazon and all over the net to keep rats and insects and birds out of your soffits and eaves. So it comes in, uh, well that's about a hundred meter roll I think, cuts with scissors, dead easy to use and that's what we used in 1702. We're going to use it here but of course here we can't just wrap a bit around, we want it to end up being about 400 millimetres high and this is only about 150 millimetres so we need to join some pieces. Now joining pieces is dead easy actually. You take a section and you bend it into an L shape. Let me give you a close up of how you join this. So about a centimetre from the edge, bend it up with something. Get your next piece and lay it into the bend that you've just made. Obviously lining it up. Fold it over. Back with your ruler. Fold it down. And that's the pieces joined. It works better if you put that through a clamp or hit it with a hammer so that it's really nicely tightly folded over. And what you end up with is this sock of mesh. So now we have ourselves a 400 millimeter long mantle. If you remember from 1702 the mantle had a top on it. I'm using this which is the top of a sugar container because it is the right size and we know the right size because it's 110 millimeters in diameter because that's what that pipe is. And then we pop our mantle onto our pipe. Now to put the mantle on those seams you made will unroll a little bit. You can fit it and then tighten them up a little bit just to make sure they're snug and then we can put a hose clamp on there. Okay, I went and got myself a load of sticks. Let's light it and see if that mantle does anything. because I thought, you know, we're going to get a little glow maybe at the top, it'll be hard to see, let's turn out the lights. I'm not doing that inside again. I stopped it because I began to get worried about my roof. Now bear in mind, I do a lot of this kind of stuff, so right at my feet where you can't see it, there are a ton of different fire extinguishers just in case. So it's something you need to be a bit careful of if you replicate, but that certainly was a mental result. I mean, awesome! Now, one of the issues, I guess, is controlling it, because, you know, that, that was pretty vicious, really. I mean, impressive, but pretty vicious. And, of course, getting the heat out, because somebody posted, that can't be a space heater. My answer is, 
Oh yes it can! <laughs> now, I'm not a particular fan of wood. I think wood's great because it's easily accessible to everybody. I wanted to show wood versions working. But on something like this, you want a constant feed of fuel. So it's going to be pellets that you're going to need, or maybe oil that you're going to need, like used motor oil, that kind of thing. And that's what we're going to be looking at. We're also going to look at some way of controlling that, because that really was a vicious flame. Anyway, does a mantle have an effect? Yes, it does. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.